Hi there, my name is Beth Brown and I'm the seed growth specialist for Bayer for Southern Alberta. I always get the question, you know, how can I maximize my seed treatment no matter what type of seed treater I'm using? Well, there are a couple things to take into consideration. The first using high germinating seed, clean seed, as well as warm seed. If we were to use dirty or dusty seed, what we can see happen here is actually the seed treatment is more likely to cling to the dust or the dirt than it is to the shell of the seed. So we would have poorly covered seed and a pile of treated dust, which is something we'd like to avoid. As well as using dirty and dusty seed, this can build up again in your seed treating equipment, uh, as well as in your seed planting equipment. So it just leads to a smoother planting and treating season if you're using clean seed. The next thing you want to watch out for is temperature of the seed. So primarily we'd like to have that temperature around that zero to five degrees or higher mark. Anything below this, we can start to see what we call flash freezing, where the product will freeze before it hits the seed, or it will flake off of the seed after it's tried to adhere. Uh, cold uh, weather can also lead to slow drying times of seed treatment on the seed, as well as humid weather can lead to re-wetting of the seed after it's already dried on there. With a product like Raxel Pro, the viscosity does not change until that minus 16 degrees Celsius mark. So we do have um, a lot of different options to work with that product in those colder spring conditions. Another way to maximize your seed treatment when using any type of seed treating equipment is getting secondary mixing. So after we've applied the seed treatment through the nozzles, we want to make sure that the seed has the opportunity to be fully coated by that seed by secondary mixing. Seed treatment does not make bad seed good, however, it does make good seed better.